concrete is going to fly after they bid here. So I'm just pretty steep that he didn't build the same before. Yeah. Well, we also yeah, gave him a little know, extra work. So. I know, but, yeah. so, but we, we talked about it at the time. We may have to make some adjustments. Yeah, he just said that rather than give us the you know, the discount that he had in the past, he was going to just have to go ahead and with the price that he gave us, which was, I told him was fine. We understood that okay. everything goes up, he's got to make money too. But, and he did a little bit of extra work for us. We gave him a couple extra projects that uh, we need to get done. So. That's all we've got for the street department. Y'all have any questions? Thank you, Mr. Go ahead, do your part. Smithens Company has got their stuff finished and they have been out on site at Wright Acres and they have started uh, uh, surveying out there for the stormwater, for the drainage out there that we're going to have to get done before we can overlay that. They're not done yet, but they have started. I don't know. I, I tried to get a hold of Greg today and wasn't able to get a hold of him to find out exactly how far. But we just, I got an invoice from him the day that said they've been out there working. So hopefully, we'll know something. I'll try to get something by the next meeting and know about how far along they are and what it's looking like. That's all I have for storm one. The uh, we have a project going that y'all are familiar with the uh, uh, WPA line to fly. Do the, we brought, we've only found one company that can do a square pipe is what it boiled down to. Yeah. And the problem with it is that we have city light gas and water has some... Uh, uh, I think there's a water line. I think there's a water line. About a six inch maybe. So six it's or eight going inch. through it. And we're going through it. And we can't do that lining unless that's moved. And so uh, we've got to uh, talk to uh, Mr. Chester about it and we begun to realize that if they have to pay for it, it may affect the rates. And if we go ahead and take advantage of the stormwater tax, then the citizens are only paying for it once, just with that stormwater tax. And so we've agreed to go ahead and take care of that with the stormwater money, because it is a legitimate stormwater thing. And uh, the committee's all agreed on it. And so we'll know the numbers. It's going to be roughly $7,300, something like that. <clears throat> They've agreed to take it out and do all the, move all the lines and everything and the street department's going to put it back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. industrial <clears throat> or senior citizens? I'll just be, um, have a meeting October 14th with major <coughs> matters. Okay. October 14th. October 14th. October 14th. Anything on the hospital? I can only tell you that they moved dumpsters and they have, uh, I don't know if you know anything about the grass mowing and <coughs> the, the jungle out there has been chopped down, but uh, that's all I know right now. I've not heard a phone, gotten a phone call from them. We'll talk to you later about uh, one of the companies that we're looking at. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything under <coughs> unfinished business? Correction. <coughs> 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay. okay. So it's a Wednesday at what time? Uh, 6 p.m. Okay. All right. Um, nothing under new business? Mayor's report. Um, Unfortunately, I'll be out of town. I'll be in Colorado uh, for the uh, Shop of the Hero. But, uh, there's, what, eight teams? So I know two of the major ones are right here. So uh, we have anything going on between the two? Well, no. I, I don't no. know. That's the Firefighter Association, actually. It's not the fire department. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, don't <laughs> shop for under the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't know if somebody's washing cars, washing trucks. Or, Anything like that, so, um, but hey, uh, we had a fair, and it was a good fair, good parade, uh, all the ones, the, I don't know, how many fair board members are there? 21 fair board members and what, two, three hundred volunteers that are on top of all that to put on a fair, and uh, so, uh, uh, looking forward to next year's fair. There will be a next year's fair. 
Um, and uh, but you know it's for the month of September. You know it's uh, can it shine? And with everything that went on, and with the crowning achievement there at the end with the uh, fair all week long, that was a uh, you know I don't think the last time we had that cool of weather. One day was fairly warm, and uh, um, uh, well, it got pretty warm inside the uh, vendor's booth area. Uh, but it still it was a it was a very good fair. Uh, Friday, I did take a trip up to Malden um, to have somebody the national stance of uh, that came through. I uh, was able to rearrange some patients and uh, went up and met the uh, National Commander of the American Legion. Uh, they were up there along with his aide, uh, the uh, uh, state commander, zone commander, district commander uh, were uh, all there and uh, that was a good and pleasant talk with all of them. So, uh, you know, it's not every day having a national uh, person come through and uh, uh, it was a nice film. So <coughs> with that we'll keep everything short and uh, we'll go for a public comment. <coughs> Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Hi, from here. Mm -hmm. Up here. State your name and <coughs> Andrew Fields. I'd like to uh, see if anything's going to be done about the noise from Delta Pina. It's been over a year, or just about a year since that facility opened. The noise is as bad as it was last year. It's unlivable. My house had to move one kid out of his bedroom to a different room. Uh, and it seems like there are some measures that can be done to mitigate the noise. It's not going to be eliminated, but it can be mitigated. Some discussion with Delta Pena should happen. That's it. So, phone and room. So we can put that to the industrial committee. Thank you, sir. Really bad. So, anybody else? All right, we'll uh, make a motion to adjourn and go into closed session. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion adjourned.